I was homeless, you took me in. I was sick and in prison, you visited me. And missionaries of charity are just living that gospel. And now we are in 120 countries. And we have 562 tabernacles, houses. They are called them houses, tabernacles, as the convent. So, and then we have everything for men, for women. People, mental, sick, and now we are trying to have homes for AIDS as many, many places. Mm-hmm. It's spreading very fast. But how do you feel now after the... the it's, uh, it, it will take some time not to heal. I just fell down, that's all. But something to offer. It came during the passion of our Lord, no? Yeah, sure. During the right time. <laughs> We have a vow in our congregation, we take a fourth vow. Poverty church to obedience, like every, every congregation, and then we take to fourth vow is to give wholehearted a free service to the poorest of the poor. We cannot accept salary, we do not accept government grant, we cannot take even one one penny for the work as, as a payment. Everything is divine problem. All for Jesus to men. Only one is beautiful. Whatever you do to the least, you did it to me. How is it? But Jesus said, yeah. whatever you do to the least, you did it to me. And then, we are met, I will, I want, with God's blessing, be holy. If you put these two hands together, you will be holy. Whatever you do to the least, Mother, I need... in your family special, yeah. and also insist very, insist very much on family prayer, because family that prays together stays together. Yes. And if we stay together, we will love each other as God loves each one of you. And when there is love, there is peace, there is joy, unity and complete oneness. What can we hope uh, of God, of the missionary of charity? We can hope that we get some, some more, many patients to consecrate their life totally to God so that we can bring His love his compassion, his presence everywhere. We are now in 120 countries all over. And I'm trying now to open the place in China also. So God has been very, very good to us everywhere. So let us hope that with God's blessing we'll be able to bring his love everywhere we go with the help of everybody. If we do the works of love, Every work of love to make a pure heart, a clean heart. Thank you. Our people dying in, in our home for the dying. They die such a beautiful day. Beautiful day. Men, more than 40,000 have died there with us. Beautiful day. Not one has refused. They always say, ticket for St. Peter. <laughs> yeah, wonderful. God has been very good to us. Then, then we have the children, we have children's homes, then we have homes for unwed mothers, and that is connected with, uh, with abortion. With abortion. abortion is, is we are terrible. fighting abortion by adoption. It's so hard to live in the middle of extreme poverty. No, because no. everybody comes and, and everybody sharing with us. Every year. The other day I got a letter from a child from America and he wrote, Mother Teresa, I love you so much. I'm sending you my pocket money. And inside the letter there were three dollars. Every day I get money like that. Every children, men, women, everybody. And from that time uh, I have started the work in taking out people from jail. I've taken 110 already and tomorrow I'm going to take 22 more and I've taken 
33 men also. Yeah. Now government has made the rule, non-guilty, non-criminals must not be taken to jail or to Mother Teresa. <laughs> so beautiful. Yeah. So pray that we continue God's work with great love. In these days, the, the AIDS is a big problem, the AIDS. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about the prevention, about the, the, the condoms, for instance? I don't know. That I don't get mixed up in it. Ah, yes. Okay. Mine is to help them to die in peace with God. Yes, sure. And they die beautiful death. Yeah. Beautiful death. AIDS is going to spread very much because every mother who has their disease Every child will be born with that disease. In these two places, you should see, no? Yes. Then we have another room. We have over 400 crippled, mental, sick, all kinds. Here in Calcutta, there are many houses. But there are people that pick up from the street, they're dying. Many, many people. But it's beautiful. Not one has died in this race. I'm going home to God. Everybody says, I'm going home to God. <laughs> and they all get a baptism, ticket for St. Peter. When I, when I began the work, yes. in my sleep I went to heaven. And St. And Peter said, go back, there are no slums in heaven. <laughs> I got so angry with him, and I told him, I will fill heaven with slum people. <laughs> Already 50,000 have gone. All over the place, 50,000. Heaven must be full of slum people now. <laughs>
God bless you all.